coast of Canada bracing for what could be one of the strongest storms to hit the country. Canada is not, I would say, in a hurricane zone or hurricane alley, but they're going to get the next impacts from Fiona. They do get them, but wow, this one is going to pack quite the punch. Hurricane Fiona racing up the Atlantic after passing Bermuda, where at least 70% of the island is without power. Treacherous night ahead for Florida as darkness begins to fall and Hurricane Ian continues its catastrophic rampage. The Category 4 storm moving at an excruciatingly slow pace. Only 8 miles per hour forward progress. Not much faster than a person going for a jog. More than 1 million Floridians have no power right now. Hurricane Ian made landfall tied as the fifth most powerful storm ever to hit the United States. A Category 4 hurricane, maximum sustained winds 150 miles an hour, just shy of a Cat 5. The center of the storm struck Cayocosta, a barrier island west of Fort Myers and Cape Coral in Lee County. And this is Fort Myers Beach, as a barrage of wind and water slammed the city. Forecasters had warned that the storm surge would be unsurvivable, up to 18 feet in size.